Number one tells us that we've got two right triangles shown and then that the measure of angle ABC, this one right here, is the same as the measure of EBD, this one here. And we can see that they marked that as well. And now they are wanting to know the length of segment BE. So we're looking for the length of this segment. This segment corresponds to this one, and we know that these triangles are similar because they have two angles the same. So we'll be able to set up some proportions here or use um, scale factor. So if I take a look, I also um, see this side and this side are corresponding and they're filled in with numbers. So this will help me um, to get the scale factor. So I'm going to be wanting to take this number and multiplying it by something. So we're going to look at the scale factor that takes 3 to 2. So that scale factor will be 2 divided by 3. So our scale factor is 2 thirds. So in order to find um, BE, we will just do um, 5 times the scale factor of 2 thirds. And then that will give us... Um, that side BC is 10 thirds. So you could write it like that. You could write it as a mixed number of three and one third, or you could write it as a decimal of 3.3 .3 repeating. So any of those are fine. You can also um, set up a proportion if you would like versus using scale factor. So if you were doing um, proportions, you might um, start with this side so putting x with its corresponding side of 5, and then choosing from this same triangle here, you could put 2, and then its corresponding side 3, and then if you cross multiplied, you'd again get 10 divided by 3, so it would come up with the same answer either way. Number two, in a right triangle, ABC, angle C is the right angle, and then it gives us two of the side lengths and wants to know the third. So if we go ahead and just draw ourselves a right triangle so that we can label it, um, it told us that the right angle is letter C. So then you can put A and B wherever you want on these other two. So AB, the hypotenuse, is 13. Um, BC is 5, and we're looking for AC. So we'll do the um, Pythagorean theorem. So we know that Pythagorean theorem is the hypotenuse squared is equal to the two legs, AC and um, BC, or 5 squared, and added together. So we'll square the hypotenuse, 169. We still have this missing side squared, and then plus 5 squared, which is 25. Subtract 25 from both sides. And you get that AC squared is equal to 144. So then we will square root. And you end up with AC is equal to 12. Number three tells us that we have a diagram with some parallel lines. So we know that DE is parallel to AC. And then we know that... Um, DC going through here gives is perpendicular to each of them. So then they want us to know what would be a reasonable estimate for side um, BE. And so BE is here. And so we're just estimating because we don't know any of the lengths in this little triangle, so we can't set up proportions but we're just trying to come up with a reasonable guess. Um, so we know it's gotten smaller since these triangles are similar, okay, because we've got a vertical angle here and the right angle. So we, and we can see it's gotten smaller here, so five wouldn't make sense. Um, and it doesn't look like it's less than one unit, okay, because this is five, and this would fit in there at least a couple of times, not, it's not going to fit in there more than five times. Um, this segment doesn't look like it'll fit in there five times. So it doesn't look like it's less than a unit or even just one unit. Um, so I think five thirds is probably the best estimate. So it looks like it's about one third of the size. Okay. So if we look at this, here's one, two, 
three, it looks like that segment fits in there about three times. So if we took five and divided it into three equal pieces, looks like that would be a good guess. Number four, which of these triangles is, um, are right triangles? So remember that we will do Pythagorean theorem that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we'll just square these all. And then we'll compare. So the largest one has to be equal to the sum of the smaller ones. And that is true for this first one. 900 plus 1600 is 2500. 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 1 plus 1 does not equal 4, so this is not a right triangle. In C, 8 squared is 64, um, 15 squared is 225, 17 squared is 289, 64 plus 225 does equal 289, so this is a right triangle. D, 7 squared is 49, 24 squared is 576, and 25 squared is 625. 49 plus 576 does equal 625, so this is a right triangle. And the last one, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 16 plus 25 does not equal 36, so this one is not a right triangle. Number five, Andre says he can find the length of this third side BC, and he believes it's 13. And Mai says that you can't find it, so she disagrees and thinks that the side length is unknown. Who do you agree with? Show or explain your reasoning. Um, so I agree with Mai. And that's because we don't know if this is a right angle. So since we don't know if it's a right triangle, we can't use Pythagorean theorem, which is what Andre did. So since we don't know um, the measure of angle A, we can't use Pythagorean theorem. Number six in right triangle ABC, so this large tri triangle here is a right triangle. CD is the altitude. We know that AD equals eight, BD equals 10. So let's find the length of the altitude. So we know that the altitude is proportional to these hypotenuse pieces. So we'll set up a proportion, eight over the altitude H equals H over the other hypotenuse piece of two. And then we can cross multiply. So we get 16 equals h times h, which is h squared. So then we can just square root both sides and we end up that with h equals four. Number seven, select a sequence of transformations that would show that, the, that triangles ABC and AED are similar. And the length of, um, they're giving us the length of AC, this segment here is six. So we see that this piece down here is already three. So that means that this piece is also going to be three. Now, I don't love the way that they wrote these because they didn't tell us which figure we're dilating. Um, but since they say a scale, a larger scale factor or a scale factor larger than one in each of these, um, they are working with triangle A, D, E first. So they really should, in my opinion, say dilate triangle A, E, D by scale factor of two. Okay, so if we dilate this, if we double this um, triangle's size here, leaving point A the same. Um, so let me just get that dilated. So it would be something like this. Then it says reflect over line AC. That would um, bring the two triangles on top of each other. So A works. Um, B says do a scale factor of two and then rotate 60 degrees. So if we just rotated 60 degrees, the triangles wouldn't have landed on each other. So this one is not going to work. C doesn't have a dilation at all, so C is not going to work. And then D asks us to dilate by a scale factor of four. 
So that's going to make this segment much or this triangle much larger than it should be. So D is not going to work either.